Okay. okay. Yes, I just needed you that week. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back.
Let us pray. Grace and kind God, we thank you for this moment, for this time, for this opportunity to be in this your praise house. We honor and praise and install your holy and righteous name. God, we love you. God, we lift up your name. God, we, we are grateful and honored to be in your praise house one more time. A few of your handmade, handpicked servants here in the sanctuary and those, my God, who are online with us, we thank and praise you because you are worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. God, thank you so much for loving us in spite of us. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. Thank you, God, that you didn't let justice cross the line because if it had, we'd be on our way to a burning hell. But because of your grace and your mercy, we're here again to tell the old story of Jesus and his love. We extol you, God. We lift you 
wonderful prayer, Pastor. Yes, you sir. Our scripture will come from Ephesians, second chapter of Ephesians and verses 11 through 22. Amen. And we will have time for everybody to turn their swords to the proper chapter and verse. Again, that is Ephesians chapter 2. Uh, the scripture verses 11 through 22. Amen. And the word of God reads thus. Therefore, remember that you, yes. once Gentiles in the flesh, mm -hmm. who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, mm -hmm. made in the flesh by hands. Yes. That at that time you were without Christ, mm -hmm. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. My God. But now, mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off yes. have been brought near the blood of God, mm -hmm. of Christ. For he himself yes. is our peace, mm -hmm. who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation, mm -hmm. having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is, mm -hmm. the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man mm -hmm. from the two, thus making peace and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, mm -hmm. thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you mm -hmm. who were afar off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. Now, therefore, you know you are no longer strangers mm -hmm. and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, mm -hmm. having been built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, mm -hmm. in whom the whole building being fitted together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. And 22, in whom you also are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Amen. I have word read for you, Ephesians 2nd chapter 11 through 22. May God add a blessing to the hearing, hearers and the doers of his mighty word. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Good word. Good word. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Yes. We will not hear again from our recital. We will not hear again from this awesome crowd. Y'all, come on, give my crowd. Hey, yo, come on. Give that crowd a crowd.
51st uh, uh, quadrennial session of the uh, general conference of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, and I did see where we thank and praise God for our new bishop. Amen. Right Reverend Frank Madison Reed III and our supervisor, Marla Reed. We praise and thank God for their being our Episcopal team over the course of these next three years. We praise God. And then wanted to share that our Christian Education Youth Leadership Conference will be held virtually this year from July the 25th through the 20th to the 29th. July the 25th through the 29th. If you'd like to attend, those of you who are members of New Mount Pisco, please let me know after worship. Um, there's some information that I need to get from you. Then I want to ask us to join uh, us on our prayer call Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon. You'll see the information on our Facebook page. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon, we have our our, our our prayer call, and then on Wednesdays at 6, we have our prayer and Bible study. Consider joining us. We'd love to have you, to pray with you, to pray for you, and to praise God with and for you also. Then I ask the love that you would remember the Reverend Wendell Webster uh, in your prayers. Um, uh, he is our pastor at Mount Brown Amy Church in Daytona. His wife was tragically killed in a car accident last Sunday. And the homegoing celebration was on yesterday at St. Stephen's and the Church of Jacksonville. Uh, our Bishop Michael Mitchell was the eulogist. And please keep uh, Reverend Wendell Webster in your prayers over the next coming days. Now that the homegoing is complete and the hustle and bustle of making those arrangements are over, Amen. He needs our prayers now more than ever. Please consider remembering him in your prayers. And then we want to welcome, thank you, sir, and invite, we want to welcome and um, be grateful to Michael Bell for visiting with us today. Uh, he is a resident of Lake City. Y'all come on, give God a great big God bless you for Michael Bell. Amen. Praise God. Glad to have you here with us, sir. God bless you and God keep you. Hope to see you again. I think I saw a sheet from him from last week, or I saw his name on something last week. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you so much for joining us again. Please don't let it be your last time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, beloved, we will hear again from this choir, after which I will come back to you and attempt to preach unto you what God has spoken to me. I can listen to your prayers. Amen. As we hear a word from the Lord. Yeah. You wrestle with the sin. 
invite you to come. If you've not been baptized into the body of Christ, I, I invite you to come. If you're in need of a church home, I, I invite you to come. If you're in the building, you have decided that you want to make, you know this is the place where you work out your soul salvation, I invite you to come. If, if you're on Facebook watching us live, or even if you're watching the recorded broadcast, and you want to join us virtually, amen, put your name and your phone number in the comments section, or send me a personal message right there on Facebook with your name and your phone number, or you can call the church at 386-752-1830, or, whatever, real, whatever, right or you can go to our website, newmountpistolacity.org, all spelled out. Click on that join button. Fill out that information. When you click submit, that information comes directly to me. How the way you decide to do it, I'll call you back. If you're here and you want to join, come down and I'll, I'll, it will take, put my hand out, amen. We still in COVID. We still got to be careful. I've been telling the sweating pores open. Now I'm fully vaccinated, but you know that doctor there is this truth out here. And so we want to be careful. Amen. How do you want to do it? Listen, Amen. it would be my pleasure to pastor you during this, during this pandemic. No time is promised. Yes. Amen. Amen. Every second, yes, Lord. every minute, of every hour, of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year, is by the grace and mercy of God. Don't take it for granted. I think this pandemic has shown us just like that. I, I don't, I, 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 got a test, I, I got a testimony. One of my beloved members right here. Hallelujah. Would have just shared in her 26th wedding anniversary with her husband. Just a couple days ago. Last year, this time, he was in the hospital. From complications of COVID. She talked to him. They gave me call back. I had to go to the restroom. Went to the restroom, came back, got in bed. Just like that. Yes, Lord. Don't take it for granted. Amen. Amen. And his birthday would have been a couple more days from the day. No time is promised. Amen. I implore you. And listen, you, you, you know, some folks still, but Fred got a problem with a female pastor. I ain't got no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no problem. But if you have an issue with that, I'm okay with that. That's between you and your God. Amen. Join the church. Tell me where you want to go, and I will send you there. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. It's not about having your name on a roll at any particular church. What matters is that your name is not erased out of the land of the Lord. That's what's important. It's not about my head. How many numbers I put on a piece of paper? That ain't. What's important is that your soul is yes, God has made a promise. 
spirit, I believe you, Lord, for safety. Yes. But to be with you even until the end of your day. Take your time. Take your time. I don't have any much room. Somebody's thinking. Mm -hmm. Somebody's wondering. Right. Somebody's about to take that much. Right, right. Somebody's about to come out the aisle. I have to find that I'm going to take my time. I don't want you to miss this chance. What? I don't want you to miss this opportunity. Well, they know there's two things I'll wait for. They, they you know. I'll wait for you, for somebody wait on me. All right. Ah, somebody wait for me. Yeah. This is one of those two times I'll wait. Let's say another verse of standing on the promises, because somebody's about to make a decision. Standing on the promises of God. Thank you for 